Vern Kyle here. I hope you enjoy the upcoming video. And uh, here's the wick drain down. Good looking, Rob. There's the berms. So far, uh, small cuts. We do have one fill of three and one fill of five. And uh, yeah, there's the berm. There's the stabilized berm. And the wick Most drain. On grade, though. And um, so here's a road where we've just, just dumped gravel on. And the procedure I use is I put the gravel down the center of the road and get it all uniform. Let the trucks dump in the center and get it all uniform. Get the amount of gravel that you want in there. And then take it up onto the berm or over to the curb but the first step is to get it uniform down the center of the road so two steps to it that's what I found it works the best here's our high point again those good high point stakes so yeah it's uh that's what I found works the best and uh, Rob is checking it for uh, five centimeters high because uh, don't forget it's unpacked and also uh, we have to leave uh, two centimeters for the trimming head see the trimming head uh, once they put the string line up here they're going to run a trimming head down this berm and trim supposedly two centimeters off of it so we're going for five we're measuring for five high right now because uh, we're measuring for five high because uh, we've got to leave two. We've got to leave two for the trimming head. And uh, so that's so when you're, you're cut. So now you know when you're looking at stakes, it doesn't change. Right and so now, when I do this, Another thing that Teresa did on this stretch is she, she calculated how many trucks this stretch is going to take and that's how many trucks we put in. And I like doing it that way. And so you see, well, I'm, you notice how uh, in the center of the road here, I'm right down to stabilized. I'm right down to the, you can see stabilized in spots. So I've basically stripped all the gravel off the center of this road that I placed there initially. I placed it down the center, made it uniform, and then the next step, I literally took all that gravel and took it one side, put it up on the berm, and the other side here is curb. And put it up on the curb side, put it up on the berm, and uh, here you'll see it, the berm is almost on grade though. There's a fill of one there, so it's basically grade. And another thing that I've come to do over the years is I wheel pack, I wheel pack these berms. After I put the loose gravel up there, I make sure I run the grater wheel over it and wheel pack it. You can run the rubber on it if you want or do whatever you want there. But I like to make sure that this edge of the berm along the clay has at least been wheel packed once before they water it. Because when they water this berm, sometimes if you if it's really loose and this edge along the clay here isn't at least hit with your wheel once, as long as you wheel pack it at least once, the water won't go into it so bad. But if you leave that completely, if you leave that gravel completely loose, sometimes it'll get saturated with water so bad back there that it'll get sloppy and it'll get over optimum and it's not good. So I make sure that I, at least uh, at least on this edge that I've ran my wheel over it once and that seems to cure that problem seems to for me anyway and another thing that you got to watch for is you see in front of me there's a manhole lid now keep in mind if these manhole lids are just up a little bit it's like this one here is is protruding out of the subgrade by about five centimeters and you have got to keep that in mind 
Rob, do you want to come up this side? And so that if this is all good, then we can do the watering and packing on this whole first section. You have to keep that in mind. If, it is a, if there's a high manhole, uh, you don't. I'll where I'm standing and walk back to you now. Yeah. Perfect. We're just going to do that. Okay. If you don't keep that in mind, uh, that there's a manhole, you know, you got to keep it in your memory or mark mark the edge or do something. But you got to remember, if there's a manhole like this that's protruding up a little bit, and you don't remember it, I'll tell you, you nail that thing with a grater and it'll wake you up. I'll tell you it will. Or you'll you could even damage the manhole because it is down right to the top of the barrel right now. So that's another thing you have to remember is manholes that are a little a little above grade you have to remember it because when you're putting the gravel up on this berm you have to get right down yeah, there and dump. can you dump them jesse you have to get right down there and strip the gravel right off pretty close to the wick drain you see the wick drain is sitting on under a boat about where my about where my have foot is here. about where my foot is the wick drain is, is sitting right underneath there so when okay, you're putting the gravel up here, you have to be very careful that you don't hit, touch that wick drain with your blade. So uh, there's a, it's something you got to get used to. And, uh, but you got to, you got to get, you, you basically got to strip the gravel right off of this road and put all of it up on the berm. And, uh, See, the thing about this is, when, when we trim this berm off, when we trim this berm, the two, you know, when we trim it, we trim the two centimeters, and the trimming head comes down here and trims the two centimeters off of it, you're going to generate a lot of material. Well, that material has got to go somewhere. you got to put it out into the middle of the road. And uh, that's why you need to minimize the amount of gravel that you bring in at this at this stage keep it to a minimum or boy i'll tell you you'll pay for it later if you don't you'll have gravel up on the up on the road you won't know what to do with it because uh and that's how that works So you can see we're basically putting gravel. Here's the existing. Here's the existing walk. And we're just continuing on with this mono walk. Yeah. And there's Teresa and Jamie. <laughs> the hardest working team. Hardest they working are. Ones. They are. With the best smiles. <laughs> <laughs> That is Andre dumping a truck. Yes, sir. And Dylan is on the camera. On this particular day, when we had our morning meeting, we talked about keeping the trucks in the center of the road when we dump them. So that way it's nice and level. If these end dumps get over to the uh, edge, then it is about 5% and it can be a bit tippy for them. And like I say, I just uh, get this stuff uniform down the center first. Get the quantity proper down the center first. And then uh, the next step, I proceed to take it out to the, uh, to the outside edge. I do use my back blading quite often here too, just to more, more to just adjust the quantity or to smooth it out where the next truck's gonna dump. Okay, now that uh, I've got the proper quantity of gravel out on the middle of the road, well now I'm stripping that gravel off and uh, getting it up on the berm. This is standard general zone gravel. And, uh, it's 20 mil gravel, very nice stuff to work with. It packs really well. Now you see, we'll place this stuff uh, 
20 centimeters uh, thick because eventually once it's all trimmed it'll be uh, it'll be 15 centimeters thick but we're gonna leave a little bit for uh, the trimming head to trim off so we're gonna grade this stuff at uh, five high and uh, the next steps here will be to uh, water these berms and then pack them and eventually they'll put up a string line because the gamaco will follow that string line you see I'll probably run my wheel over this gravel just uh, once or so just to uh, knock the air out of it a little bit pack it down a wee bit You see, uh, sometimes you come pretty close to the wick drain when you're uh, when you're doing this, and you have to, you have to come pretty close to it, and uh, it's kind of a fine line there between hitting it and not hitting it. But sometimes, like I'm where my corner of my blade is there right now, I might only be uh, you know ten centimeters from that wick drain or something. It might be pretty close to it. I have hit it before, and it's not a good thing to hit it. You gotta get out there and repair it. Uh, clean it off with the shovels and repair it or something but uh, if, you, if you ever do hit it you end up coming pretty close to it sometimes I usually end up putting a couple lifts on top of the berm because uh, it always seems to start packing down on you and uh, even if you get too much you can always take it off it's easy to take it off you notice how these guys have marked this valve, that six inch valve, really well. They've painted it pink and there's a flag on it. That's a good thing to do. And of course, we're looking for 2% uh, on the top of those berms. And that 2%, it actually is kind of, uh, it, it kind of feels a little weird to do that 2% on top of these berms because you're slanting the opposite direction of the of the quarter crown you know you're two percent toward the road and then when you get out on the street you're five percent toward the the gutter so it's it's kind of a strange feeling to to do these berms to do that uh, two percent on them when you're not used to it anyway that's what i'll be doing there is to, uh, you know just trying to figure out two percent and uh See, this gravel will probably only have about uh, 2 or 3% moisture in it right now. And optimum on it will be about 5 or 6. So we have to uh, water these berms pretty good before we pack them in order to get the density there. Now I've got the camera mounted uh, on the side of my grader and uh, I'm up to four times speed right now. Doing a little back blading. I'm actually making a level spot for the next truck to dump. I know there's a truck coming in and I'm just giving him a nice level spot so he can hoist on a level spot. We'll smooth out his load here now. This is actually a different site. We're, we're doing the same procedure, but this is footage from a different site. And it's a different gravel. It's funny how you can, you know, after a while you can pretty well know where the gravel is coming from just by how it looks. Sometimes it's coming from a different quarry. This stuff's a little darker. There's a high point. And, uh, there's not that much, uh, there's a little less gravel on this, on this job. The structure is a little less. <coughs> Here I am putting it over to the edge now. Sometimes, uh, like if the, if the trucks come in all at once, I'll let them all dump down the middle. And then when they leave, I'll have, a, I'll have some time to do this, to put it over to the edge. It works out pretty good doing it that way. You just keep uh, stripping her down and putting it over to the edge. 
Uh, right now I'm placing it just just over to the wick drain. Now, uh, on this particular site, there's not that much gravel on top of this wick drain. You see, there's only 10 centimeters of gravel over top of this wick drain. The structure is quite low. And uh, when we're on sites like this, sometimes one of the crew will help me place this gravel. Haley came over and she's going to walk on this wick drain while I place the gravel on top of it. It just assures that no gravel will go underneath it. Sometimes it'll flip on you and the uh, gravel will go under it. And if there's only 10 centimeters of gravel over top of this wick drain, if it flips, sometimes uh, it can be an issue with the gamaco because they're gonna the gamaco trimming head is gonna be right down there where Haley is walking, and uh, sometimes if it flips, it can be an issue. Uh, the gamaco trimming head could touch it possibly. It's nice if it doesn't if it doesn't flip on you. Thank you, Haley, and uh, thank you for viewing. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, would you please subscribe and maybe give me a like, and we will see you next time.